Hey y'all, it's Sim here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back again with another freaking video. I'm back again with another freaking Halloween look, period, pookie poo. So this Halloween video is really inspired like by like all the little horror stuff. Also, I watched Final Destination recently and I think there was a scene where it was like, rah, and it shot at her face and she died. And I was like, that makeup look though. <laughs> so yeah, I was super excited to do this shredded glass look for us. I don't know really how I'm gonna do it because you know, I wing everything these days and I haven't been able to make it to the Halloween store. So I'm just going off my little bottle of clear liquid latex and my other little bottle of liquid taste, liquid, la 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 liquid latex here. Now they claim this one is clear, but it's literally not. I've used this, what? the last three years doing Halloween looks, something like that. I don't know, but I need to just go to the Halloween store, buy that big jug one, and call it a goddamn day, okay? So this little piece I got for 99 cents at Hobby Lobby, and it's like, okay, I found this in, just in case you guys wanna redo this look, I found this in where they have like the painted glass, is that what you call it? The nice pretty glass, I'm not saying it right but I found it in that aisle I went to Michael's first they didn't really have anything the lady was trying to get me to use real glass and not that I wouldn't I just thought it was stupid to buy this piece of glass for six dollars just to break it <laughs> I know it doesn't look as like you know sheery but it has like this clear plastic thing on the front and the back, so it will clear up once I do it. I just think it might be smart to cut the pieces before I get started, so I can see um, where I wanna put the pieces. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up in like little shards or something. I might even go on Google and reference a picture just so I can see kind of like the shapes and sizes and then I'll come back, okay? <laughs> so I finished cutting everything up. Now I will cut more as I see it fit. This is kind of what they look like. One thing that I really do appreciate with using this plasticky type thing is that when you cut it, it automatically, because it's firmer, it gives like, damn, you <laughs> can't see. But it, if you guys can, let me find a better piece. But it gives like that sharded, you know, cracked, look that i love if you guys haven't already make sure you guys smash that thumbs up video and subscribe to the channel if you are already subscribed let's go ahead and get into this video i've been debating if i was gonna use scar wax or i was gonna use liquid latex and i think i'm gonna go ahead and use scar wax now this kit i got off amazon a few years ago if you watch any of my other halloween videos i believe i have it linked if it's still available and then i also have some vaseline because scar wax is super sticky and the best way to work with it is Vaseline I believe if there's something else let me know <laughs> let me go ahead and Vaseline my fingertips and then I'm gonna scoop out I don't know maybe like a ball size we're gonna take out maybe this much I like to slide it directly onto the Vaseline because we're just we're trying to make this as easy as possible. So yeah, that's how much more I took out. And that's just because I really don't know how I'm shaping this. <laughs> I figured it out. <laughs> so I think this is what how I'm gonna kind of do it. What I did is I took our spirit gum, put it on my forehead, waited for it to get tacky. Then I put I, that little piece I had, I cut it in half because when I put it on there, I realized it's actually a lot for just like shattered glass type of look. I got it on there, I kind of smoothed around the edges. I made like a little opening right here and right here and that's just where I'm gonna put the glass when it's time to put the glass. So what I'm basically gonna do is kind of do the same thing that I just did here but kind of like sporadically over my face. I know spirit gum kinds it takes a second to dry so I'm just gonna put random like swashes I don't know we're gonna put glass right here we're gonna put some glass right here uh, and I'm gonna leave that for now I don't want to do too much and then it gets like over dry and then I can't stick it on my head and I'm gonna take half of that blob I was telling you guys about that I made and I'm gonna just ball it up a little bit like that 
So what I'm doing is just trying to make sure the blob is big enough to stick on there. And then I'm going to spread out like the sides to kind of try to make it flat and it blends into my skin a lot better. So we're going to put that there. Yeah. Okay. Um, looking in my mirror if you guys are wondering too so I don't have to like be all up in y'all face you know what I mean so what I'm doing now is spreading out like the ends if it's sticking to this scalpel thing I literally just dip it into the Vaseline <laughs> and it literally makes it so easy to spread out <laughs> I actually made like a pimple looking thing. That's not what I what I really want to do, but I'm gonna like poke a hole kind of. That's cool for a cut. Rub some Vaseline on my fingertips. If I walk around like this outside, my neighbors would be so scared of me. Mind you, I'm like the new neighbor on the block and they don't really know what I'm about. <laughs> but they don't even know. I'm really like boo hooey around here. <laughs> In my opinion, that's a big enough slit. <laughs> so I'm gonna come back when it's all said and done, okay? That's back, y'all. <laughs> and my camera is probably, let's hope it's done overheating. Um, if you guys know why the heck it keeps doing that all of a sudden, comment down below. <laughs> I kind of just picked some random spots. I really don't know how this is going to turn out, but we're here for a fun time, not a long time, you know? <laughs> what I'm going to do with scar wax, you kind of have to set it, I believe, because it's like wax. So once you put it on there, you can still like move it around as you guys seen. So I'm going to take my clear liquid latex. So I'm going to use that to paint over the scar wax. All the liquid latex has dried, as you guys can say. What I got now is I got some foundation. This is number 360. I'm gonna mix a little bit of this, and I got this Fit Pro concealer. I'm only using this because I'm not using my expensive makeup. That color kind of matches me. Yeah, it could be a tad darker. Yeah, close enough. Okay. Now I'm gonna paint over this. You guys hear my AC? Yeah, very loud, very not demure, but trying to keep the camera cool until I figure out what the real tea is about it. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. One thing I did do off camera is I did go over it one more time with clear liquid latex and it should be dry. You see when I touched it? Yeah. I'm gonna go into my color wheel paint. This is what it looks like. It just says color rotation paint palette. I definitely got this off Amazon. I'm gonna go in with this bright red right here just to give, you know, some dimension. What do I want to use? What do I want to use? I'm going to use black just a little bit. So 
So I kind of want to deepen that up a little bit. So I feel like I'm going to play with this maroon color right here. Then I got these painted. Yeah, that looks gross. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh, that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, I'm looking for my makeup brushes because I am going to go into this eyeshadow palette I got. Trust me, this ain't nothing fancy. I got, it's called Fantasy, a palette that I got off Amazon again. Looking for, okay, pause for a second. <laughs> right here in my face. <laughs> you know, once you can't find anything, you just have to pause and just look around. <laughs> I kind of want to dust it over. Uh, We'll use this brown right here. Sorry, y'all, I'm using a lighter brown. Um, I'm going to play with some colors too to re do that. Don't do what I just did. That's hideous. And I'm going to do the same thing for the one. Did I not color my lip at all? How did I forget that part? <laughs> Okay, y'all, this looks so freaking raw. Like, it's not even funny. It kind of looks like I have a little herbie going on over here, but I don't. <laughs> so I think I should add the glass first, just because I'm not sure if it's gonna stick with the blood on there. That picture, I just pulled up. Nasty. Highly don't recommend looking at that. The only thing I can think of is using spirit gum, placing a dab of spirit gum in there, and then dipping the tip in clear liquid latex and holding it. Is, does that sound like a combination? So I'm gonna just do that first. And then we're gonna use this piece. And since they're right next to each other, I'm gonna pick maybe a little bit of a smaller piece. You know, I'm gonna go get my blow dryer and see if this works, okay? Okay. I was able to get these in. It's actually not as complicated as I thought I was gonna be. The only thing that I noticed is I can't have big pieces. Like, I can have, because these pieces are still pretty big, but not tall big because the weight just makes them fall. I did put a little bit of scar wax at the tip of it and then I stuck it in once it stayed I went ahead and took the spirit gum and I kind of did like a quick little wipe around it and it seems to be holding but I won't know enough until I start putting the blood on there so pray for your girl because <laughs> this won't really kill the whole vibe. <laughs> so I got this little piece. Now this piece was broken off from this piece right here. I cut it again and I got me this piece. So you see how big the piece was all together and that's why it kind of kept falling when I was trying to do it. But I went ahead and put spirit gum right here. I put it right here just to go ahead and give it a head start to set for me. And then I'm just gonna stick this tip part just to get a little bit of scar wax on here. Yeah, and you see how it doesn't fall like that? Oh, that works beautifully. Now I'm gonna give that a second before I wipe the spirit gum back around it. Oh, y'all, that, I love when my ideas work out. So I'm gonna go ahead with this liquid latex, ah, spirit gum, <laughs> and I'm gonna, Wipe it around here. While this is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other pieces off camera just so it's not like this awkward silence going on, you know what I'm saying? But are we getting into the look? Oh my God. So I did exactly what I said I did last scene. I did tap it with the blow dryer. It pretty much worked. Yeah, I mean, I got glass in my face. So let's go ahead and play with the blood. We got squirt blood and we got, don't make fun of me when I try to say this word, congratulated blood gel. <laughs> a gel, a thicker blood. Got this little sponge thing I bought off Amazon. It's supposed to help kind of like put the blood on there. But I'm gonna have to use a tool because I'm gonna knock this glass out. I'm gonna go in with this scapula. I believe that's what it's called. I really hope that's what it's called. Otherwise I have no idea where I got scapula from. But I'm just gonna scoop up the quadrilated blood and I'm going to hand drip it.
pretty scary. What side is my good side? I kind of like this one. I don't know. This one gives, it's giving something. But then this one gives car crash. This one gives somebody just smash my face with a bottle. Car crash bottle smash oh my god y'all what do y'all think about this halloween look i think this is super different super dope the one thing i can say is coming up with a concoction that can keep the glass in more sturdier i don't know if this is an all night thing but go ahead get your pictures really fast and then when it decides to all fall off just let them fall don't even stress yourself out about this stuff you guys obviously know how cheap this look was it's nothing to get quadrilated blood or any type of blood all, all that stuff you can find under ten dollars and then the glass i found was literally 99 cents from hobby lobby if i was to do this for like a halloween party i'd put probably a lot more glass yeah i absolutely love this halloween look and i hope you guys enjoyed it too and i also hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys smash <laughs> but as you can see y'all i can't really do too much otherwise the look is just gonna fall apart <laughs> but make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button and if you are already subscribed <laughs> i'm going to be ending this video here i'm sending you guys peace love and light and you guys will see me on my next video <laughs> bye crazy just happened to me ma what? look should I go to the emergency room <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get her y'all I tried to get her